Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. So in the interim between the last episode and this one I went hunting. I uh, got some meat because Boozer said we, we were running low on food in the watchtower. So I did that because it's literally it's been like an hour of me looking for deer. Then it wandered onto a bridge and then the freakers got it and stayed there, so I tried to lure them away. It took about an hour, in general, uh, in total, rather, to uh, get the meat, so yeah. Didn't bother doing an episode on that. Oh, fuck. A horde! It's a horde! Okay, I got 25% uh, capacity in the gas tank, like fuel, so I should make it to, and as I say it, alright, maybe I didn't have 25%, I got no ammo either, so, uh, right, move forward, go on, let's go. Back to walking the bike. Oh, I'm not that far, it's only 400 meters. Though it is in the top of the hill, so a lot of this will be walking the bike when I get closer. And. It's night time, so there's just a bunch of freakers roaming around. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I don't, I, I don't break down in the day. Why well, is always in the night? Oh yeah, I'm dead. Alright, that's not the best start to a video I've done. Probably won't be the worst either, as I go on. But, I can recover from it. Don't know what... Ah, uh, I have to check the map. There might be somewhere nearby with fuel. What? Why the... That was... That was the bike spawned all the way over there. Actually, not Copeland's is nearby. I can go to Copeland's. But I need to get to the bike for some reason. It's miles away. Oh, and there's a horde between me and the bike, isn't there? Oh, don't tell me there's a horde. And my joystick on the controller is messing up. So, Deacon is walking really slowly instead of running like I need him to. Oh no, it's not that far. I think the bike is roughly where I left it. Yeah, stamina depleted, I guess. Hey, the bike's where I left it. Good. Good. 12%, that's what I got, not 25. left? Is it this left? Yes, it is. Cool. Right, 
I can run the rest of the way and hopefully they recover my bike for me. Would you like us to retrieve your bike for you? 50 credit charge, Manny. yes please. Uh, Rafael, yeah, how much? It's hard to find fuel out there. Yeah, tell me about it. I'd see it how much did that give me? 40%! Hey. That's extortionate. Hey there. Jazzy. You got some bounties? Yes. You do the killing, I'll do the counting. That's it. Uh. That's just quite an easy job, I guess. She just counts dismembered ears. All right, now I should be able to get there. Yeah, you do that. Thanks. Yeah, those saddlebags you get uh, as an op as a kind of attachment to the bike, they'll come in handy in this mode, I think. Considering I'm always running out of ammo, and we haven't even gotten to the hordes yet properly, then yeah, those saddlebags will be the best investment I make in this game. That and a larger gas tank. For all the gasoline. You could have stayed on there. What kind of biker are you? around here I would have thought. Don't think they do. Okay. Can of fuel. What do I need to make bandages? I need alcohol and rags, don't I? Done. E full tank. Yeah, I got a lot of scrap, no bandages, bandages, which I need bandages for survival. Because I'm dying walking around a safe area. Luckily, they didn't. They haven't added like, a feature where you bleed out in this. I was expecting it to be a bit more. Oh, bandages! I was expecting it to be a bit more unforgiving. Whereas it's just a regular game with tougher enemies and. Let's put it really, tougher enemies. Uh, cool. And no HUD, yeah. It's like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. And overall, I'm enjoying the mode. But it's not really what I was expecting, or hoping for, rather. <sighs> I was ready to go 
go back at it. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Get up, you lazy bastard. So, get rid of the marker and go and see Boozer. Hey, the booze man. Booze man. I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll, I'll salt it up in a bit. So just a random question, but why do you salt up meat? Is it to dry it out? I would have thought, maybe. I don't know. Um, I have to keep Boozer alive. He's my brother! He's my brother! They won't let me leave. Oh, that's right. So, occasionally, throughout the game, you will get weird little missions like this, where you have to travel across the map, for a two minute cutscene. Not even two minutes. It sometimes it even lasts like 40 seconds tops. And that's it. And you, tra oh yeah, you travel 1.7 kilometers for a 30 second cutscene. Oh, did I kill that deer? Oh, I did. Unintentionally, but I did. I can sell this. I also wondered about how I'm gonna. I mean, thinking about how I'm gonna release this. Uh, well, I say that. I mean, I'm, I've recorded like about seven, eight episodes so far. I haven't really tracked. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking about how I'm gonna re re release it on YouTube. I might actually. Inst I might not wait until I do the whole thing. I might just sort of upload like one or two episodes now and release them sporadically. And then at some point just stop and then record the rest of the game. Uh, just to see if people are interested in watching the video and I've gone the wrong way. Uh, seeing in people are interested in watching the video and so on. And what they think. And how bad they rate my commentary. How badly. So take a right, yeah, that way. Yeah, of course. Through the through the tunnel. Back it up. Usually I just drive through, because I'd be positive I could make it, but, yep, different mode. Now yeah, now whenever I see a gas can, I just have to screech to a grinding halt and be like, hey, wait.
I really should repair the bike. What percentage is it on? It's on... 30%. Uh, let's see. Let's go. So yeah, what was I talking about in the last video when I was doing one of these ridiculous drives? Uh, Walking Dead books I'm reading? Um, yeah, they're okay. Uh, so far, I've only read one. Uh, it's set in Woodbury after Rick and Co. leave the prison. After the assault in the prison and they leave. Uh, I'm assuming it follows the comic books because, I, if I recall, in the TV show, the governor burns down Woodbury. At the end? Well, I say the end. At the end of this season, I, I don't know, season four it's intro, much on the road. Damn when it. you see him, he burns down Woodbury. So I assume it's the comic books, because they're still living in the town. And they sort of invite this... Ooh, shite! That's a good shot. And the bike's fucked. So I can't go anywhere. And I got no gun. No gun no, I got ammo. Cool. Get in there. But yeah, they sort of invite... Um, oh, shrippers! My friends! My friend. The crazy people. Oh god. Why are you after me? Why is the wolf after me? Then there's two other guys there. There, see? Go after them. Yeah, bastards. Actually, I'm not gonna kill this guy. Can't do anything. Ah, oh, it's a no. Oh, that's just really it. Yeah. This is one of those things where you can't, like, you can't shoot them without stopping, and then he'd shoot you. And if I shot at him, I'd have to stop or move slow, and then the walls would get me. And I just didn't have enough supplies to last that. Last either one, really. Either option. Anywho, what was I saying? That's right. And yeah, it's basically how the guy, the people who survive in Woodbury. Like people who are left in Woodbury survive after Let's the governor leaves, what I can do. or dies, rather leaves the uh, life, and um, yeah, it's okay. Uh, the writing's not great sometimes in some parts of the book, but I'm uh, it's something I, I can overlook. Um, characters are okay, fine, standard Walking Dead survivalists, I guess. Uh, the basic story is for the first uh, the, the first book I read. I think it's like the fifth or sixth book in the series. Uh, basically, them trying to survive after the whole fight with uh, Rick's group and how they are like going about it, and then they come across um, nut jobs surviving in a church with uh, uh, Reverend Jeremiah guy called Reverend Jeremiah uh, in charge. He sort of ingratiates himself with the guys and girls living in Woodbury and then eventually tries to enter some kind of weird suicide pact with them. It's probably more interesting than anything in the TV show the last few years, I would have thought. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the first, that's the first book I've read, uh, Invasion. No, Invasion, Descent. Invasion is the one I'm on now, and it's sort of part two. Carries on from where the th from the uh, scent left off, and you see what happens to uh, Jeremiah and everyone else. Because spoilers, the town gets overrun, ends up getting overrun by zombies, and yeah, I don't know what happens after that. As far as I've gotten. And look at that, my little rant about the Walking Dead books ended right as we got to the hot springs. It's 
Sex Rifter, over there. Hmm. How's it going? Looks like we've got a few leaves here. How's it going? I'm curious how much petrol I have. 48%, that's not bad. safe here. I have to work. Okay. Okay. They won't let me leave. Plus 500 trust. Don't know why I gain trust by doing that. Uh, got 250 credits. You're safe now. 30%. Cool. Does that mean I got 3,000 credits? Uh, yet n not good enough trust level to buy anything of worth. Great. I can go to the mechanic though and top up my bike. Now, what's left for me to do? And that's a lot of shit. Ah, cool. I can go and see my dead wife's grave. Is she dead? Who knows? I do. I finished the game before. Right, I need to get there and stop rambling. How's it going? Hey, what's going on? Stuff's getting the scares. See you later. I know that news actually, uh, when I. Uh, now that I remember. I, I read earlier that Robert Kirkman has actually finished The Walking Dead. Like, ended it. The comic book series. Um, from what I read in the article, it was like, be that it ended on the way it did. I stopped reading it years ago, so I have no idea what's happening. But AMC yeah, has said... Right. I gotta burn out the rest of these nests. But AMC has come out and said that the TV show will be going on for a few years to come. Guess I'll come back later, burn out these nests. Though to be honest, the show kind of lost my interest a few years back. I, mean, I still watch it because I invest so much time into it. I may as well see it to its conclusion, but nothing of worth has really happened, in my opinion. Like, nothing that I've gone oh my god about. Though I fear I am watching the wrong show. For I should be watching Fear the Walking Dead. Because I remember everyone... Last two, three seasons? Uh, a lot of people have been sort of raging about that. And I do prefer Morgan's story, like overall. He had a probably the most interesting arc, I think, in Walking Dead. So his sort of transition over to Fear the Walking Dead is a good sign, in my opinion. It's just, yeah, finding finding the time and the sort of uh, willpower to start watching a wa another Walking Dead show. Talk, slow down. It's Roach. It's Roach. You know him. He used to ride with Leon and Alvarez. But I trusted him. Oh, damn it, Tuck. Hey. I only went to check my phone. Another bounty. Damn it, Tuck, you shouldn't have. 
No, he's taken the rest of our drugs and headed north. My boys lost him somewhere around Marion Fox. <laughs> All right, I'll see if I can track it down. I can fix this. It should work. Yep. Okay, here we go. Time to see what this one's about, because I don't quite remember most of the scenes where he goes to visit the grave, other than the first one. Um, I think a few of the others are about him, like uh, basically random points in his relationship with um, the woman whose name I've forgotten. Uh, there, it's just random points, to giving you an idea of their relationship to one another. I think that's the general con like, you know, content of these <laughs> missions. Very little interaction, more like really long cutscenes. I got a use for you. Now the interesting part is that that's actually this this little visit's different to the one I had in my first playthrough. Because in my first playthrough, this place was sort of swarming with people with assault rifles. At least I think it was this visit. There's a few. We do like five of these missions. Five or six. We do quite a lot. Anyway, I'm going to turn the mic off because I don't know what this exact flashback will contain. And I don't want to talk over any story parts. Talk to you soon. Uh, hey. Me again. Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps asking me what goods I'd do, and, and maybe he's right, I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them, the mobile medical units, and I got him sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough, you know? But... Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, and son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <laughs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone, too. As soon as I get it back together, I, my bike, I mean, and get Boozer patched up, we're gonna ride north. Fresh start. Got a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that, uh... I might not see you again, you know? Okay, that was very short and much more to the point than I thought it would be. Locate Roach. Yeah, I mean, well, that's what I've been reading, other than those Walking Dead books. Um, I've been going through quite a few of my, my reading list the last... about three months. Slowly going through it at first, and now I've started to pick up some... Tr get some traction, and I'm going through, like, a book a week. Which is nice. I've read... Uh, Ready Player One, which a friend got me for my birthday last year. Uh, mm, 
a little bit after the film came out. August is my birthday. So yeah, it was a little bit of a while after the film came out. I think the film came out around June, July. Uh, the book was pretty good. I uh, can't say it was better or worse than the film. Definitely the film's been streamlined quite a bit. Some scenes are in the book that are kind of in the film, just sort of shortened. Uh, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed both. I wouldn't recommend one over the other or anything. Unless you don't like books, in which case I'd recommend the film. And if you don't like films, I'd recommend the book. Probably only a matter of time until some kind of comic book comes out. And if you don't like either of the other two, I'd recommend that. That's how this works. Okay, ramp. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, Thought it was going to be like a dip off. or something. Uh, I don't feel like shooting people just yet. There'll come a point where I shoot everyone in these ambush camps, but not ye just yet. I'll have to set out from Copeland's or the Hot Springs with the intention of taking out these raiders. Yeah, I mean, we'll be reading that. That was nice. Uh, what else? Metro. I read Metro 2033. Uh, I recently played Metro Exodus. That's on my YouTube if you want to check it out. I enjoyed it. It was okay. Uh, not quite sure how close it is. Because it says it's based off the Metro books. So Metro 2035. I thought. I don't know how close it is. I know Metro 334 was nowhere near, like, Metro Last Light. So, yeah. I think that's just there to say there's a box that we kind of follow. What am I doing? I'm checking... Oh, okay. I'm a little bit off. The rest of our drugs. Okay. Let's take a look around. What do we got? <sighs> Still got. Tucker! I spotted him and it looks like he was, uh, like he was waiting for someone. Tick, don't let him get away. Wait. I want him alive. Uh, what the shit? Tucker alive? More shit has come up missing. I need him to tell us where he's stashed it. Okay, shit. All right, I'll see what I can do. But come on, Roach. Where do you think you're going, huh? Still back here, you son of a bitch. Fine. All right, let's do this the hard way. Oh, there's more. Yeah, I'm not going much faster than this. Fuck Two percent. I know the target is escaping. I can't drive. I know what you done to Leon and Alvarez. Let him get away, Deke. Look, he's getting away because I can't repair the bike. I'm on two percent. This is as fast as I can go. So yeah, he's getting away. That's literally it. Fine, whatever. Alright, I'll accept the speed. I just can't hit anything at all. This game sometimes. Oh, I got you, son of a bitch! 
Wow. Hey, Roach. How's it going, buddy? See? Told you I wasn't gonna kill you. Ah. Oh, Deke, no. No, oh, I, I didn't do nothing. Oh. Oh. Nah, that's not what Tucker says. I guess when Leon and Alvarez took off with the camp's drugs, they forgot to cut you in. Is that about it? Deke, no. No, no, no. Clue me in on what you're thinking, man. I, I want to understand. You, you took what was left while the old woman wasn't looking? Oh, Deke, uh, I got nothing on me, okay? Search me. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not my job. I'm going to leave that up to Alki. Hey, Tuck, I got him. Mark down these Don't coordinates and have Alki sent Heard what you did to Leon, okay, Deke? I, I, please, man. Come on, please. He's alive? Did he have my drugs? Deke, no. Please, please, we rode together, remember? You and me, we were crazy. Yeah, he's alive. But if you want him to stay that way, Alki, you better hurry up and get please, off his ass. Please. St. John out. Any scrap in here? Oh yeah, he's hey, gonna bring them a lot of freakers on. Yeah, the crazy question. Any idea where I could find a thunder egg? What the hell for? The kid I brought in, just trying to find a way to cheer her up. She mentioned having one. Shit, I don't know. Check the gift shop at Belknap Crater. I don't know. Maybe Miriam Forks. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I don't know. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I parked the bike down there, didn't I? <laughs> okay, I'm right in the middle. Oh, it's broke, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'll check the buildings. Like I have a choice. If I open up some close. of these bonnets, they should be scrapped in there. E. need the scrap. It's not a case of I'll fix the bike and as I rev up the engine, the engine cuts out from lack of fuel. Nope, 40% fuel. It doesn't look too bad. That'll hold. You bet it will. That was a good ramp. 
Probably one of my better ones. But yeah, I've been reading, like I said, I've been reading Metro. That was alright. Uh, for a book that was translated to Russian, it's pretty good. There are one, I think, a few, like, uh, typos that kind of put me off when I was reading. Not put me off, put me off my stride. Because I had to try and reread the passage again and again to figure out what the hell the, the author was trying to get at. Uh, other than that, yeah, I enjoyed it. Like, one of the examples is one of the places is called Polis. P O L I S. And in the book, there's an entire page where instead of Polis, it's spelled police. P O L I C E. Now that really put me off. Because it's an entire page. I thought if it was just one misspelling, like one typo, fair enough. But there's like four or five going down the page. And then the next page, it goes back to the. P O L I S. Uh, I was like, ah, okay. Gift shop. That's just one in here bizarre. But it's translated from Russian, so kind of expected, I suppose. <laughs> Any thunder eggs here? I brought you a little something, something. Rip. Where is the bike? Where did I leave it? I have early onset dementia. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, what did I do that? Oh, that's not good. I'm going. Hopefully I have enough momentum. Yeah, there is a little prompt. That's why I keep well, I keep fucking up and I'm losing petrol and I'm going to walk a bike everywhere. There's a prompt in the HUD. And I just discovered between videos that if I go into the vision thing, uh, the head pops back up. I didn't realize that before. So that's some way. That's that, that's a way of getting around the no HUD thing, I suppose. If I'm driving, just occasionally press down on the R three to see how much is in the tank. Yeah, you see, I was nowhere, like, I was way off when I was aiming, but yeah, I still killed him. That was still like a headshot. So the over-the-shoulder camera angle is very uh, unreliable. I attracted a horde or something.
Yeah, I feel like I've attracted a horde. Down the mountain I go. Or hill, whatever you want to call this. Why did it stop? Why can't I just let go of the joystick and just coast? Now making some progress. Yeah, that will come in handy though. I'll have to remember to do that. Like a badass. That was a pretty good shot. And up over the next ridge. And glide. Cruise, whatever. Coast. Coast, that's the one. Why am I returning to shore? I could just get over the- Oh, yeah. Why? Why? Why is that a thing? I mean, I should be able to get- I understand the lake. I, can, I should be able to get across that stream, no problem. He's a grown man. You can just stand in the water. It doesn't even look that shallow. Uh, deep. It looks pretty shallow. It doesn't look that deep. Alright, where do I- Where is- Six hundred and fifty meters away. What the hell? What is this game playing at? It really needs to like rework the checkpoints. I feel because that's a, that's a lot when you're trying to course the bike. Because there no, there's no petrol sources nearby. That's a lot. Um. Anyway, I just hit the time limit for the video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying the commentary and it's getting a bit better. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, in the comments, anything really about Walking Dead, maybe. If you want to talk about Walking Dead, feel free. I talked a lot about Walking Dead this uh, 
or any other books you're reading. I've talked a lot about uh, I've talked a lot about Walking Dead this episode, but you feel free to talk about any other books you might be reading as well, like I just said. And yeah, well, leave, leave a like and subscribe for updates. I'm just literally, yeah, my mind's just all over the place at the moment. My apologies. But yeah, leave a sub uh, subscribe so you can keep up to date with the rest of the walkthrough and leave a like to show me that you like the video, obviously. Or a dislike if you don't like the video and I'll work on the commentary. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day.